Moved down here from the back uh, over there in that pasture area. I worked the clothesline, didn't get anything. Came back up to this tree, didn't get anything. Worked over to the doghouse. Now I'm just kind of working myself around the backyard here that I'll be doing, but I got a 16, real faint signal, and check that out, guys. Well, I got permission on a couple of rent houses and possibly one tomorrow. So we're gonna get into the closet and uh, bring out the detectors. My detectors of choice today is gonna be my Trustworthy Equinox 800 that I have uh, kinda blinged out a little bit. And I'm gonna back it up with my uh, Ace Apex. Uh, all right, let's go load them up in the truck and let's get on the road. something out here so let's get to swing and see what we can find got a good number 30 right here all right six inches deep all right let's live dig it and see what it is Still in the hole. That's good. Right over there, I missed the gonna be a clad quarter that's all all right let's keep going oh, we got a surface find right here look at that it's gonna be one two three four four coins I wish they were silver but they're not all right let's keep going well I've got uh, three other houses here on this street this this house here this house behind me and one on down they're just little rent houses the real trashy yards but they're all built in the uh, 20s and 30s and if you get through the trash you uh, definitely will find some silver coins and may not find a lot but I have found a lot of coins before in some of these yards so uh, let's get to swinging let's see what we come up with well that is three houses down in three strikes I got one more house to go look at and see if I want to do it or not that's just what these rent houses are you just you never know they're going to be full of trash if i had a silver dime for every penny signal that i had it's unbelievable how many pennies are in these yards but i'm trying to be very uh, particular and listen to just the high tones because there's a lot of trash a lot of pennies out here so i'm going to make my way down to the next house and see what we come up with i'll see you there moved on to uh just from down the street and we got a 33 signal and something very weird it's a mold it's a mold can't see it too good from that side but you turn it over just in time for Halloween looks like some type of scary skeleton face or monster face I don't know all right we'll keep on going everybody headed out today got about an hour and a half drive got a house 
that uh, was built in the late 30s, I think 37. And so it looks pretty promising with a big yard, big trees. I got a lot of land around it I can hunt as well. And uh, hopefully we're gonna get up there and find some good stuff and uh, make a good video. And uh, don't forget, somewhere along this video is gonna be a trivia question. So make sure you watch it all and uh, the first one who answers the trivia question correctly and, and uh, puts the answer in the comment below is gonna win a Preacher Digger sticker and I'll throw something else in there as well as a surprise. So I've got a ways to go here, so just sit back and relax and I'll see you when I get out in the yard. I'll be hunting. Got a real big yard, big side yard here, and big backyard. So let's uh kind of windy today, kind of cool. So let's get out, out, let's get suited up, let's see what we find. Gonna be hunting with my Equinox 800 today, and uh, we're gonna be in park one. And uh, let's see, we're gonna have uh, five tones, we're gonna be swinging in. Uh, in the four and let's see sensitivity and we're run at 20 yeah let's go 21 and i'll take the horseshoe off and just run a little bit of discrimination here all right let's get with it well there's the house i've worked this far out so far i've been here about 30 minutes i got a wheat penny uh just to the left of the front porch a lot of trash in here and i haven't really been digging live signals because there's just a lot of trash got a good deep 29 jumping around signal but I get it uncovered you can see it's gonna be a Merc uh, 19 19 something here let me see here 1941 1941 Mercury Dime all right, I'll take that. <clears throat> Comes out clean in this sand. Real easy digging. Just real sandy. And got a farm over here. And I'm anxious to get down toward that tree. It looks like a tree the kids used to play in. Green grass all around it. So let's keep on going, see what we find. I moved on down to this tree. Thinking maybe kids played in it or something. And <clears throat> a lot, a lot of trash. So I've just been kind of digging some signals. And I got, I got two signals here. One right there, and another one in here. <clears throat> this is the one I was picking up, but look what popped out though. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a, uh, just a, a rosy. 1962, 1962 rosy. Let's set that right up there, and let's. Uh, Keep digging under these roots. Let me dig down here and I'll come back to you. That's why I was having a hard time. That's just a piece of uh, iron pipe up in there. And this was up on top of it. So that's why I wasn't ringing up like a dime. I was picking up that big piece of iron, but I was getting a little chirp. And sure enough, we got us a rosy. All right, let's keep on going. This one sounds really good. 24, 25. I like the depth on it, about six inches. I think it could be a weedy. Let's uh, live dig this one. A lot of trash in here, a lot of roots in here too. So uh, bear with me. That's what I like to hear. Still down in the hole. Let me set you up on my. Let me set you up here in just a second. There. I'm hoping it's silver because it did jump up to a 29. A 
like I said, there's a lot of trash in here. It's been fooling me, but the, I like the depth on this. Still down there. It's sand. Coins are coming out really good. All right, got it out of the hole. There it is. Out there. There it is. No buckle. Copper, uh, copper buckle or brass buckle. That looks kind of old, doesn't it? Looks like a shoe buckle in a way. It's got the teeth right here. I don't know what that is. But I'll take that. All right, first relic out of here. Let's keep on going. Well, I moved in coming up in line up by this, uh, up back by the house and uh, making my way down this side yard now. Got a jumpy signal hitting the 20, 21, 23, down to 15. And I just uncovered it. It's right there. Looks like it's going to be a, <clears throat> a thimble. Yeah, it's not silver. Ringing that, that low is going to be a probably copper. All right, I'll clean it up later on, see if there's any writing on it. All right, well, got a few more finds. Let's keep on going. I'm over here in the garden, right out next to the pasture here. Check this out. Need some okra. You ever seen okra? This has a bunch of it here. That's a lot of it. That's a real big one right there. Wow. I guess that's what that is. Anyway, I got a signal right here. A 22-23. Good signal. About... Uh, Four or five inches deep. <clears throat> I, I see it right there. What is that going to be? Number 34. It looks like a... Uh, being out here by this pasture. I guess that would be a cow tag. I would assume. Doesn't look like a fob. And nothing on the back, like a little hole right there, but not go all, <clears throat> doesn't go all the way through. All right, I guess that's a brass cow tag. I'll take it right out here by the, the okra patch. All right, let's keep going. Moved on here from the back uh, over there in that pasture area. I worked the clothesline, didn't get anything. Came back up to this tree, didn't get anything. Worked over to the doghouse. Now I'm just kind of working myself around the backyard here that I'll be doing, but I got a 16, real faint signal, and check that out, guys. I don't know if you can sit in the hole. Preacher Digger got his cross. How about that? It's just going to be, I think, junk uh, metal. It's not going to be sterling or precious. It's a crucifix. Part of a necklace broke off there. All right, let's get a picture and let's keep on going. Well, I moved on from the back of the house and uh, coming out here behind and got a 27, 28 signal. Sounded real good, but a lot of trash out here, a lot of trash. So I just haven't been doing very many live digs, but I do have something good I want to show you. Let me turn you around. If that's what I think it is, that could be it's another another buckle but it could be a military uh, buckle I have to look on the back of it here and see if I can see it I've, I've dug some military buckles like that and uh, still works check that out a little broke little little broke there but it may be a uh, well, maybe not be maybe just be a, a buckle but I've dug some military buckles like that I have to clean it up and look at it later and see all right let's keep on going Moved on from the house, working this side strip here by these two huge uh, pecan trees. Getting out here close to the road, a lot of trash, and uh, but I did get a 23-24 signal. And there it is right there. Is it going to be silver? No. What's that going to be? Oh, it's going to be a token. Pretty good shape. Everything's coming out real good in this uh, sand. It just like it polishes everything. 
Okay, Oklahoma. Well, that makes sense. I'm only about 30 miles from Oklahoma. Oklahoma tax token. One meal. How about that? I'll clean it up later and see what it is. Probably a luxury tax token, most likely. I don't know. I'll add it to the collection. All right, let's keep on going. Well, that wraps it up for me. I uh, found some good stuff here. And uh, I'll get back to the house and I'll do a wrap up and I'll show you guys. So I'll see you at the house. All right, here is the trivia question for today. In one of my previous videos, not too long ago, I found a coin spill. This is a two-parter, okay? You have to answer two parts. One, what type of coin was the coin spill? And secondly, how many were in the coin spill? First one that can answer that correctly in the comments below is going to win a PD sticker and something else. So, good luck, everybody. Well, I made it back home. About an hour and a half drive from up there where I was at. Was close to the Oklahoma border. And uh, had a pretty good day. Pretty nice for Texas weather. The high was about 70 degrees. Good wind, overcast. It was just right for a good day to get out. And uh, so I just got back. I got everything laid out. Let me turn you around. Let me show you what I got. All right, here's all my trash. I could have dug so much more of that out of there, but I got to knowing what the signal was. But I dug some of it. A lot of, a lot of trash, a lot of trash. Uh, a couple of toy cars, no Tootsie Toys. Got this one mold looking thing. It looks like if you turn it over, kind of looks kind of freaky. Just right for the Halloween. This is about two weeks before Halloween as I'm making this video. Got two dimes and nickel and uh, 27 pennies. I got $3.25 in change. I got a couple of buckles. This one looks very unique. I don't know what kind of buckle that is. And then this buckle here. And uh, I did get a, a thimble and a brass cow tag number 34 and Oklahoma tax token. What would it be if Preacher Digger didn't get his, uh, get his cross? That's an old one right there. I would say that's probably... Ooh, it goes on back there. That looks kind of old. Very old. I'm, I guess my best finds today it wasn't a whole lot. I did get a wheat penny. I didn't even look and see what the date was. I got a 1964 Rosie and a 1941 Mercury. And that is all she wrote for today. And uh, I did detect those uh, other yards, those rental houses and that's what i got that's all i got in those rental houses here the rest of this i got today at the other yard so well there's all the trash and there's all the treasure i say the greatest treasure is not what is laying out on the tailgate what you can find out treasure hunting the greatest treasure is what can be found up in heaven my friends keep searching keep looking up and until we meet again i just want to wish everybody a happy hunting and god bless